25 seconds. T minus 20 seconds. T minus 15. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have a go for engine start. Zero. We have booster ignition and liftoff of Columbia, reaching new heights for women in X ray astronomy. Columbia is in the roll. We've got a fuel cell pH number one. Roger roll, Columbia. We're looking at. Columbia, it used to be like AC bus sensors off. We're evaluating the fuel cell. Columbia. Hey, that's complete, Stuger. Roger that, Columbia. Looks like we had a transient on AC-1. Columbia is now headed downrange, altitude 3.8 uh, miles. And as we hear, uh, all systems uh, okay. It looks like a sensor on board. Three engines throttling down, all at 67%. Columbia, Houston, we are critical to AC-2 on the center engine. AC-3 on the right. We've lost DCU-A on the center and DCU-B on the right. Copy that. And Columbia, Houston, you are go at throttle up. Columbia, go at throttle up. And all three engines are back at uh, full throttle. Columbia is now eight miles downrange, altitude 14 miles. The flight control team is uh, monitoring the electrical systems on board. Again, all three fuel cells appear to be healthy, as do the hydraulic systems. We're approaching one minute, 50 seconds into the flight, standing by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket uh, boosters on the orbiter. Columbia now uh, has burned uh, more than two million pounds of fuel and weighs half of what it did at launch. SRB separation is confirmed. Columbia Houston, performance nominal. 